Welcome to Women's Rugby Rundown 179 for November 4th through the 10th. South Africa secured another Africa Sevens title, booking their place in the World Rugby Challenger Series alongside Kenya and Uganda. While China took top honors in the Asia Seven Series, with Hong Kong and Thailand also qualifying for the Challenger Seven Series. HSBC Sevens 2025 kicks off later this month in Dubai, but Singapore and Los Angeles have just been confirmed as the final two spots. The 2024 Rand Sevens in Trinidad will see six teams vying for challenger spots, and Wales continues to face scrutiny after Wales head coach Iwan Cunningham's departure. We're going to round up all of our global premier and club competitions worldwide. I'm Wendy, here to bring you the latest in women's rugby. This is our Women's Rugby Rundown, and we're ready to kick off. Let's start with some Sevens news. South Africa clinched the Africa Sevens title for the 12th time. They secured continental victory and qualified for the World Rugby Challenger Series alongside second place Kenya and third place Uganda. Japan won the Thailand final in the Asia Seven Series over China, but China's performance in earlier stops wins them the Asia Seven Series title. Both of these teams are already on the HSBC Seven circuit. The real drama was in the third and fourth place match between Thailand and Hong Kong. Thailand taking this one home 24 to five but it means that both of these teams will qualify for the Challenger Series. We finally know all of the stops for the 2025 HSBC Sevens. Singapore and Los Angeles have just been confirmed as the final two spots. Singapore will crown the league winners in April, followed by Los Angeles hosting the World Championships at the 2028 Olympic venue in May. The pools for the first HSBC 2025 Seven Series spot in Dubai have been released. November 30th, it'll be at the Seven Stadium. This one's huge. China has joined through the Challenger Series last year. They're in Pool A. They will see Ireland, Fiji, also Australia, who are the title winners of HSBC Sevens. And then in Pool B, we've got USA third place at the Olympics against France, Great Britain, and Spain. And then Pool C, New Zealand, of course, Olympic winners, Canada second place Olympics, and then Japan and Brazil. Six teams will head to Trinidad for the 2024 RAN 7s from November 22nd to 24th, where teams from Barbados, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Mexico, and Trinidad and Tobago will vie for Challenger Series spots. PR 7s announced that the silver medalists from the Olympics will be in attendance of the PR 7s All-Stars, and so they will play the bronze medalists USA Rugby and, of course, the PR 7s All-Stars in Providence Park on November 17th. Let's switch over to 15's news now. And, of course, we've got to talk about Wales again. Iwan Cunningham has stepped down as the head coach of Wales women after three years. This can't be because of his performance, because they're doing better than the Wales men and better than they've done in a long time. Of course, this comes down to the bullying for the contracts. But this is really just a scapegoat at this point. Let's be honest. The CEO, several of the executive board members who were privy to the prior executive review are still in place. And so... He's being let go to just try to cover their tracks, and maybe we'll get an apology from Nigel Walker someday, but they're just trying to sweep all this under the rug. The Celtic Challenge confirmed its six-team lineup with the Irish Wolfhounds defending. They'll be joined by Breathon Thunder, the Clovers, Edinburgh, Glasgow, and Gualia. This kicks off in December. Lastly, we'll take a look at club and premier news, and it's a lot, so stick with me. First up, the November 6th update of our USA Club Women's Rugby standings crowns the first champions of the year and brings fresh rankings across D1, D2, and D3. The 2024 Mary Graham All-Star schedule is out with cup and plate matchups set for December 7th and 8th in Dallas-Fort Worth, featuring defending champions Midwest Green, TRU Toasts, Southwest, and more. Kerstorfen have secured their place in the Arnold Clark Premiership Final on December 14th with Watsonians and Sterling County vying for the remaining spot. Round 5 of the Welsh Premiership saw yet more postponements, keeping Carnarvon at the top while Whitland reigns unbeaten with two fewer games. After Round 3 of the BC Premiership, Burnaby Lake sits undefeated at the top. They've got some offensive strike with 14 tries. West Shore's impressive opening win and Vancouver Thunderbirds' steady position signals maybe some possible shakeups. We also learned about the postseason. All six teams will move to the playoffs with quarterfinals April 12th, semifinals on April 26th, and finals set for May 3rd. After five rounds of the Nigeria AIL, Railway Union leads with a perfect record. They've got 23 points, but they're followed closely by UL Bohemian, who's got 21 points, and then Wicklow and Galwegans remain close in third and fourth. Round four of Elite One keeps Bordeaux undefeated at the top, but it is pretty tight in the middle. They've got six teams that could make leaps. 
Round six of the PWR saw Exeter extend their lead with a sixth straight win. Bristol's 10-try victory over Leicester, tightening their top four spot, while Gloucester, Hart Perry, and Harlequin stay on track with wins. In other news, Bristol and Saracens teams were forced to change in offices and shower at a nearby gym for their fixture last month, while the men had full stadium facilities, a glaring reminder that progress is still leaving women sidelined. Round four of Germany's Bundesliga sees SC Neuenheim and Heidelberger both remain undefeated at the top of the table. Round three of Hong Kong's Nanfeng Group Airside Premiership keeps Society General Valley undefeated at the top, while Natixie's Ice also maintaining a perfect record, and the two leaders will face off next weekend. After three rounds of Iberdrola, El Salvador leads with a perfect 15 points, but they're closely followed by Mahadehanda, Cisneros, Cocos, and St. Cugat. After round five of Belgium's Ladies D1, of Watford and Ghent lead the standings undefeated. It's getting tight, though, in the middle, so who will shake out as the top four? Two rounds in for Italy's Series A elite. Valsugna and Colorono remain undefeated at the top, with Voraba and Milan rounding out the top four. After round two of Netherlands' premier, AAC holds the top spot undefeated, with Waterland and Roos also maintaining perfect records. That's all the news we could fit in this week. There is more on our site at YSCRugby.com. Never miss an episode of Women's Rugby Rundown by subscribing on Spotify, YouTube, Patreon, and, of course, all your favorite social media platforms.